What's good, guys? Welcome back. We got some Fall Guys Season 3 gameplay starting off with some 1v1 and roll-off. And I know it looks weird. 1v1 and Fall Guys, you don't see that too often in roll-off, but they had a playlist mode the other day, or a few weeks ago, I should say, that was the final maps all in the one mode. And every ending one was a 1v1, so it was very unique and cool to do that. You don't usually see a lot of 1v1 in Fall Guys, like I said, so... Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment your thoughts down below. Got the Mr. Crab skin looking to get this W right here. They got SpongeBob as a level 100 battle pass. They got Mr. Crab, Squidward, Sandy, and Patrick. I bought them all. They were pretty good price. So if you guys ever get back in the Fall Guys, if you play Fall Guys, if you missed out, I'm sure they'll be back in the store shortly. They got some Christmas skins in there right now, getting the holiday spirit. So they never really disappoint with these skins them in Fortnite. So. Right now, me and this player are going at it. And pretty much, roll off is pretty much the platforms keep moving. You got to make sure you keep staying on the platforms and not fall into the pink area to die or to get eliminated. So, you really got to be careful. And it might seem slow right now, but trust me, if you last a while, it starts really speeding up. It's like a uh, fall climb. I think that's what it's called. Or jump, jump club. Excuse me, jump club. I got that wrong right there, but jump club where you just have to keep jumping over and it starts off slow and you think, yeah, this is a breeze. And then all of a sudden it starts speeding up. As you see right now, it's starting to speed up and we really got to be paying attention. Got to make sure they don't try to grab you and hold you and pull you off the area. But right now, this is a really good game. So just got to keep our balance, keep going. Mr. Krabs will do anything for money. Maybe we'll get some money for winning this. So. Roll off ain't really too bad. I really enjoyed it. He ends up falling off the map and losing. We get a W. Definitely an unexpected W right there. I thought he was going to beat me. He seemed like he knew what he was doing. I'm pretty decent in roll off, but man, when it starts speeding up, my head starts spinning and I'm just like, damn, man, I don't even know. So here we go. Got the Squidward skin. Squidward's big head. So here we go. Let's see if I can get this back to back roll off W's here in season three doing the chicken thon. Squidward's always grumpy, but that don't mean he don't enjoy winning. Got this player trying to grab me, grab him back. They almost fall off the area right there. Lucky for them, they end up just running off the area, and it's a W right there. So that was a quick win compared to the first one. So good two first wins right there. So now we got my favorite, as y'all know, Blast Ball. Here we go. Got the Poutine. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. Poutine skin. Had to end up buying it. Thought it was really dope skin to buy in the store when it was available. Blast ball, man, I'll tell you. There can be funny moments, there can be trolling moments, there can be irritating moments, everything you want in the game. Blast ball has it, because, man, these games get really intense, especially when it gets down to three or four players. If you see me trying to keep my distance here. All the players are really grouped together in this lobby, and as I said before, it's really not good to do that. And a few players I play with sometimes, they'll stay still or not really move around a lot. I see a lot of my friends do that. You never really want to do that in Fall, fall Guys Blast Ball just because players are looking for a standing target because if a Blast Ball comes flying at you and it's like really about to activate, because pretty much the longer you hold the Blast Ball and throw it, the more or the less time it takes to get activated. So you really got to be aware of where the Blast Ball is at all times. And like I said, be away from every player because you don't want to be a standing target. You don't want to be in a huge group. You don't want to be trolling too much and taunting. And even though I do that from time to time, I'm guilty of that. I sometimes get too troll happy and start taunting and emoting and grabbing like this player's trying to do to me. But you just got to be careful and watch your surroundings. So looks like we're down to five players. Make that four players now. Let's see if we can get this win. We got the ice cream. We got the Street Fighter skin. We got that one skin. I forgot what it's called, but it's another skin they added. A really cool skin. So we're it's down to a 1v1 here. Let's see if we can get this one. That player goes flying off the map, and we get the W. Pusheen for the win. And Blast Ball. You can never go wrong with Pusheen's skin right there. And if I'm, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, so let me know in the comments, because I never really watched Pusheen or know a lot about it. I just thought the skin was cool. So here we go, another round of Blast Ball. Just got the glasses and the Sonic shoes on in this one. The Sonic shoes is really cool. It was really cool they had the Sonic. What was it? I guess the Sonic, not really 
map, like a, it was a map, but it was like a racing Sonic area. Really cool. And by the way, if you guys haven't played Sonic Frontiers, man, I'll tell you what, Sonic Frontiers was an incredible game. Make sure you get that game. That game was one of the best Sonic games. And even though I know not everybody's an open world Sonic fan, it was worth it. Really cool to adventure around the world and fight bosses and clear coins and get upgrades and fish. And they got everything you'd want in a Sonic game. And there I go. I'm eliminated. Sucks. You know, I was trying to move and the area dropped as soon as I got hit with the blast ball. So here we go. We're watching DZ right now. DZ got to get a win here. He hasn't had much success in blast ball. So maybe that'll change here. And as soon as I say that, DZ goes flying off the map. So DZ is eliminated. So here we got QJ. And QJ low key be kind of a sweat in blast ball. He'd be eliminating a lot of people. He eliminates one player there, or almost eliminates one player there. QJ again throwing the blast ball. That player goes flying, still in the game. QJ again sends that player flying. They are eliminated, had no chance to even survive. QJ again hits that player. They fly right in front of him. The Among Us players eliminated. QJ again eliminates that player. So we're down to five players. Got a shark, there goes another player. That player goes flying, they're still in the game. But QJ said, you know what, I'm not letting you survive and that player goes flying off the map. So we're down to a 1v1, can QJ clutch up and get this win? That player ends up eliminating themselves and QJ, one, two, three, B gets the win in Blast Ball. QJ used to hate Blast Ball, but he low key be getting a few wins in it here and there, don't let him fool you. So here we go, Hexaterrestrial. And this was the same what I was telling you guys about in the beginning, where it's a 1v1 final maps. And it's weird playing Hexaterrestrial with just two players because it's a smaller area as you can see. And there should be a Hexaterrestrial later on in the video with more players so you guys have seen the difference in the maps. So pretty much I was just trying to stay away from this player because I knew they were going to try to grab me, get a quick win. So just trying to keep my distance, but he's, he or she is running almost behind me. End up doing a 360. Here they come again trying to grab me. They can't catch this ice cream right now. They're getting close though. That was a good angle he, he or she played on that. And they, I, they end up selling right there. I almost got cut off guard even speaking right there because I didn't expect to actually win that game. Because really they should have just dove before I did. Before they hit the bottom of the world or whatever. And they want to have won the games. I don't know what the hell that was. But you know what a win's a win. So here we go, cranking. Pretty sure it's called cranking slam. And this player wasn't even paying attention. I push him off the map and get a quick win in the 1v1. The quickest win I've ever gotten in fall, guys. Don't know why the hell they weren't paying attention there. But you know what? A win's a win. So here we got roll on again. Got me in the, I guess, goose skin or whatever you want to call it. Me and DZN duos. This bean trying to grab me, push me off the map, ain't happening. Gotta do a wave for him. Looks like they're gonna be one of them annoying players that keep grabbing you the whole entire time. Not saying it's a bad strategy in this mode, but still it can get pretty annoying. So Deedee's over there pushing him around, trying to push him off the map. This player isn't holding or anything, so good sportsmanship by them. One player has been eliminated so far. Deedee's still in the game. This player again trying to grab. And roll offs, roll on, roll off. I always get it mixed up. There's two different versions of this roll on and roll off. So if I, if I get it mixed up sometimes, I apologize for that. There's two different ones. Roll one of them, on DZ gets eliminated right there. Unfortunate for him, so we're down to five players. But roll on and roll off, the difference between them is roll. Pretty sure this one is roll on, and the roll off is where there's three or four different lines of areas you can walk on and this one's only two so we're down to four players we got santa the black bean the yellow bean and you got me in here trying to survive Santa with a nice jump right there you know the black bean he's still gonna be trying to grab everybody trying to troll trying to get some eliminations like i said a smart strategy just trying to take my time not really try to rush any of the jumps because before i really really struggled on this map Jumping too early or jumping too late. You really just got to keep your eyes open. And the black bean ends up jumping and gets eliminated. So we're down to three. Me, Santa, and the yellow bean. Yellow bean, orange bean. Looks like a yellowish orange bean. I guess you can call it orange. But they get eliminated nonetheless. So it's down to me and Santa. Santa against the goose for the win. Who was going to clutch up and win this? 
Sana almost gets eliminated, but he stays in right there. Sana's wishing for a Christmas miracle. Still in it. And I got really nervous in this game because this Sana player seemed like they were really good on this map and they were lasting a long time, but maybe I'm just getting better and counting myself out. So when those long platforms run, I, or I said run, when they start popping up, I always try to run on them just so you can save a little bit more time. You don't want to fall too below on the platform just in case. But right now, those are two close calls right there. Santa with a crazy save. We're both still in it. Both have gotten some luck along the way. And Santa ends up just falling off the map and we get a win. Man, that's a terrible way to end it for that player. They were doing good too. They just missed time to jump. Good win nonetheless. So here we go. I got the alligator skin on. More blast ball. Got players flying everywhere. Me and a random in the duos. They got the half eaten among us. Skin on. That skin's always tough. I have that skin as well. That's one of the favorite skins. Beans flying everywhere. But nobody's going to stop this alligator bean. As we are unstoppable. And blast ball. So there's a nice throw over there. Players get out of the way. This player thought I was going over to grab him. Didn't happen. Gonna run over near my teammate, see if we can get some elimination, do some emoting. So there goes one bean flying. They end up staying in the kitty bean over there. So we're just gonna emote for a little bit while everybody else takes each other out. Gotta do some taunting, do some dancing. We vibing right now. There's a nice throw. The other alligator bean almost got eliminated, but they end up just not even getting hit by that one. So there's a terrible throw right there by me. Wasn't even close. Let's see what my teammate does right here. Nice throw. That bean goes flying. They're still in the game. End up throwing, hitting that bean. I go flying up in the air. My teammate gets eliminated. Very unfortunate for them right there. Probably could have moved a little bit more, me and them, but maybe I can clutch up here. The other alligator bean goes flying off the map. We're down to four beans. There goes two beans flying. They both survive. Crazy amount of luck right there. They both survived that. Here we go, looking to get elimination. And there goes one bean flying, we're down to two beans. Here in Blast Ball. Hoping for some luck right here. Don't know if these two are teammates or solos. Looks like they might be both solos. But it looks like they both might be targeting me. One bean just falls off the map, so we're down to a 1v1. For all the marbles right here. That bean walks right into the blast ball and flies off the map and gets eliminated. Very dumb decision right there by them on that one. So here we go. This is what I was telling you guys about earlier. Hexaterrestrial. Duos. I almost had squads, but duos. And you see the map's bigger. The walls eventually start caving in, so you really got to be careful where you're walking. It was me and DZ here looking to get a duos dub. So my strategy, like I said in other videos, is really just kind of like Blast Ball. Stay away from everybody else if you can. Right now, everybody's just walking near me, but kind of keep your distance from everybody until the end. Just so you have more areas to really jump on if you have to. So you don't want to be around too many people because they'll grab you or walk in front of you or, you know, teammates. They'll try to just, I guess the word is pinch you and make it where you have nowhere to go. So it's best to just keep your distance. Use your jumps, definitely use your dives, but don't use them in moments you shouldn't. I've seen a lot of players do that where they dive, but they don't really need to, and you end up missing the jump, or you end up over jumping, or you just have a bad fall. So DZ's still in, and as I say that, he dives and falls off the map. So we're down to four players. Just trying to keep my distance right here. The walls are starting to cave in. It's getting dangerous now in Hexaterrestrial. This pink bean's trying to get behind me, end up going away. We got the Viking bean, they tried grabbing me, but it didn't work. So we're getting less hexagons right now. It's getting very, very dangerous right now. So us four are still in it right now, but man, it's, it's getting all crowded up. Who can survive? Which bean can be victorious? Running out of room. Nice dive right there by me. We're down to a 1v1. Can I win this? Oh my god, we actually somehow win this and get the win, Hexaterrestrial. That is just pure luck right there.
because I had nowhere to go. But me and DZ clutch up and get the win. So good win right there by us. And here we go, Hexagon. And Hexagon, if you guys haven't seen it before, it's like Hexaterrestrial, but the Hexagons don't respawn. So pretty much, you're going to see a lot of beans falling down the next level. There's about five or six levels. And you pretty much just got to be the last being or last team standing and this was duos me and a random so let's see if we can clutch up and get this win everybody has a different strategy this some players jump very slowly some run around and just eliminate as much hexagon as they can as that player grabs me i end up falling two levels it really just depends what you want your strategy to be you don't want to move too fast at times because if there's less area and you're moving too fast and you really one of the only two or three up there, you're really hurting yourself doing that. So it really just depends what pace you want to play. It's really just all about a preference. A lot of players I see personally play slower, like they jump very slow. But like I said, just preference, whatever you want to do in Hexa. I almost said Hexa Terrestrial, but Hexagon, Hexa Terrestrial too. Really just all a preference base, whatever you want to do. But trying to grab that bean ends up screwing me over, almost eliminating myself in the entire game right there. We got one player eliminated. Got two viewers watching me right now in the Fall Guys game. As you see, that's what that eye logo is. They had that in the new season. Pretty cool. There goes a bean flying. They're eliminated. Four beans eliminated now. So me and my teammate are still in this. Three beans remaining. That player ends up diving and missing. So we're guaranteed a win right now. So we can just chill. We can just fall off the map. Don't think at this period of time we really realized it was just me and them in the game. But I end up doing a dumb, I shouldn't have dove right there, just a dumb move by me. But we end up getting the win regardless, so it's all good. So good win right there in Hexaterrestrial as we get the W. Or Hexaterrestrial, I keep saying Hexaterrestrial, Hexagon. Good win in Hexagon right there by us. You can kind of say they're pretty identical, so it's easy to get them mixed up. So here we go, we got some more Blast Ball. He got me as a light blue beam. Let's see if we can get this W. We got beans flying everywhere again. You know how Blast Ball goes. That bean's trying to grab me. Got the ice cream with a nice throw right there. We both get hit but survive. One player eliminated. Got a mushroom bean. They're trying to grab. Like I said, you really can't hate the costumes of the, uh, the characters in this game. Or the outfits or whatever they can have you purchase. They're really just... Almost second to none. They really do so well with the costumes you can buy and the characters and stuff like that. that you can dress your bean up as. It's really cool. As players are getting eliminated left and right. Five players eliminated. Six players eliminated now. Seven players eliminated. This is going to be a quick game. The ice cream bean goes flying. They end up surviving though. We're down to five players. It's getting intense now. Let's see if that's a good throw. That bean ends up getting out of the way right there. Nice throw right there by the bigger bean, but I'm still in this. I try to be a blast ball pro. It ain't that easy to eliminate me unless it's by just crazy amount of just blast balls flying everywhere. So we got nine beans eliminated, down to four. That player tries grabbing me and screws themselves and end up falling off the map. So we're down to three players. The ice cream bean goes falling, hits head first, and falls off the map. So we're down to a 1v1. Nice throw right there by them. I end up doing a dive to survive. Can this be the game winning throw? Ends up hitting the, both of us, but they fall off the map and we get a win. So really a lucky win right there, but we'll take it as the light blue bean gets the win here in Fall Guys. And here we go, the final Fall Guy gameplay of this video we got blast ball a lot of blast ball games okay as you guys can see I, I play a lot of blast ball so be prepared to see a lot of blast ball in the gameplay but i also play don't worry i also play a lot of other maps on here but yeah blast ball is definitely my favorite as i said before so here we go we got me and qj he's the blue beam with the captain's hat on over there as you can see with the red arrow pointing on him that beam's trying to grab me Got people flying everywhere. One being eliminated, two beans eliminated, three beans eliminated. This looks like another quick game by the way it's going. Me and QJ still in it. Nice throw right there. Nobody gets eliminated on that one. 
that player tried to grab me. Luckily, we both jumped out of the way on that. That platform was getting ready to fall. Got four eliminated. That body grouped together right now. There goes two flying. One ends up falling off the map. One of those was QJ, so we're down to six. Well, QJ went flying, didn't go flying off the map. We got six eliminated. Looking to get elimination on the Among Us. They end up surviving. Three beans go flying, one's eliminated. Another two go flying, they both stay in the game. QJ goes flying, and he is eliminated. So we're down to five, make that four here in the final game of this video. That bean goes flying, they're gone, and we're down to three. Can I clutch this up? That was a nice throw, they almost got eliminated right there. Luckily they survived. We're all three bunched together. The blast ball didn't hit any of us there. As you got the Among Us Kim trying to grab me. Dumb move by them right here to run to the same spot. Cause it was an easy target for me and they both go flying and we get the win. And that'll do it for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know I was messing up some of my words. But hopefully you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and comment for more videos. Make sure to subscribe.